PwC has tentacles that reach deep into corporate Australia, government departments and agencies. The company's reputation, even its future business, is in question. Now it's facing a criminal probe. Yesterday we received a report of crime from Treasury. It relates to, in general terms, the unauthorised disclosure of information. Former PwC partner Peter John Collins was barred by the Tax Practitioners Board in January for sharing confidential Treasury details about a crackdown on multinational tax avoidance. Internal PwC emails released by the Senate show that inside information was used by the firm to devise ways to dodge the new laws. Advice which was then sold to deep-pocketed clients. I consider PwC's abuse of confidence and trust with the Treasury and PwC's subsequent handling of this breach to be a very serious issue. Treasury and finance officials were initially led to believe the scandal was relatively contained, only to find at least 53 PwC staff all around the world received the confidential information. Treasury writing to PwC... ..directing it to remove personnel directly involved in or who had knowledge of the confidentiality breach from all existing and future contracts. Certainly, I, I, at this point of time, I don't know how we could trust PwC to implement the cleanup. PwC's biggest client is the federal government. One cabinet minister saying cancelling contracts isn't that easy. This is a grotesque betrayal of trust. There is a, a, some furious work going in within government to understand what the legal constraints are on us here. The global nature of PwC's operations matches the global attempt to counter multinational tax evasion. And that's the central concern here, that not only did the leak of confidential information pose a threat to Australia's tax base, but the tax base of Britain, the United States and all OECD countries. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.